Hey everybody, it's David Pingree. We're at Milestone Raceway today for the launch of the 2018 KTM Factory Edition 450. And this thing is beautiful. This is a race bike right off the showroom floor. Um, you get a lot out of this thing. Uh, looking at some of the equipment you get here, the, obviously the Red Bull Factory graphics. Uh, the triple clamps are anodized orange. You got a Henson Factory clutch cover. The starting device from the factory on the front fork. The orange frame, the composite skid plate, which is new. Uh, DID Dirt Star rims, the factory seat, uh, floating front disc, which is a Galfer Wave rotor, it's a really, really good rotor, uh, new rear disc design, the front disc guard, and an orange rear sprocket. I mean, there's a long list of stuff, a lot of upgrades you get. Um, and really, this bike in the past has been just ready to race. I mean, literally right off the showroom floor. Get the suspension tuned in for you, and you're good to go. Uh, for this year, there are some changes, not just the parts and pieces that you bolt on, but some changes to the frame. They were looking for more torsional rigidity, 5 to 10%, so they added some gussets and some meat in some different places. Uh, there's tabs welded on for that composite skid plate, uh, which makes it really nice to get on and off. You're not clamping, wrapping around the frame, which reduces vibration, and actually that can change the, the, the flex of your frame as well, so this is a great way to do that. Longer swing arm, the factory team last year was uh, having troubles the way that they wanted to run the wheel further back when they ran smaller sprockets and it uh, wasn't quite long enough. So that was a change that was made for them. Uh, the seat is new. There's more material on the front of the triple clamp this year, which again gives you some different rigidity characteristics that they were looking for uh, when it's fully compressed versus fully extended. So we're anxious to see how that works. There's a new battery. Um, New head too. This is this is big on this engine. So the head, you can actually look when you're when you're looking at it, it looks much smaller. And they were they they basically lowered the profile of everything to try to center the mass. Um, and that they were able to take two links out of the cam chain to give you an idea of how much lower it is. So it's pretty significant, and it, it's supposed to give it a, a lighter, more nimble feel on the track. Anxious to see how that works. The gearbox is now all made by Pankel. So the guy who owns KTM also owns Pankel, which if you're not familiar with them, it's a very high-end company. Uh, the crank is already built by Pankel, and it's, it's, it would be like an aftermarket crank you'd buy to improve the stock crank in any other bike. They come standard in KTMs. Now they come with a standard Pankel gearbox. So it's just uh, better materials, uh, better coatings, better treatments to make them stronger, less friction as they move through the oil. Um, it's it's a, a big upgrade. Uh, Two-piece exhaust. If you've ever taken the exhaust off one of these, uh, you've probably thrown some wrenches across the garage or had a kick at your bike, you know, taking a shot at it. It's two-piece now, so it'll come apart much easier. Uh, and then on the throttle body, they've just got some changes to the way the cables route down to it. The throttle body itself is pretty similar. There's a new gasket, but it's really the routing that's changed. And again, still the lightest bark bike you can buy at 221.8 pounds. So. Uh, this thing is significantly lighter than any other manufactured bike, and um, I'm anxious for Bryce to get out and ride it today. Bryce Valley is going to be our tester, and he's done some for us before, and you rode last year's factory edition bike. We were at Glen Helen, different place, but I thought it'd be cool to bring you back, have you ride the new one, and see if you can feel some of these changes, because they're pretty significant, um, especially the centralization of the mass. The radiators are dropped lower. That's another thing they did. So there's some some... Certainly some changes, and uh, I remember last year you really liked the traction control. Yep. For you, it felt like you you could really use the power and, and um, stay smooth like that. Yeah, I mean, on the 2017 and a half, I guess it was last year, um, the bike was fast, like really, really fast. So to be able to control that and set it into a mode where you felt like you weren't having power that was overbearing your skill level or whatever was awesome. So I'm uh, super excited to try this one and compare it to the one that I rode last year and uh, give you guys some good feedback. Yeah, so obviously lots of changes. The suspension's got a, a different setting. They're, they're because of the changes to the frame and triple clamp, there uh, is a, a lower bar pressure that they recommend now. So we'll make some of those changes. We'll let you know where we land uh, after Bryce gets off. We're gonna go send him out there to get dirty right now.
Okay, Bryce is back for, with our 2018 factory edition. Over here making me look really short. Um, tell me a little bit about your initial thoughts on this. You rode last year's. Uh, give me some thoughts on this and then a comparison versus that bike. Yeah, so um, feels really good off off the bat. I uh, made a couple changes, but I'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, I think compared to the 2017, the first notice was that it's a little bit lighter feeling, a little more nimble, and maybe a little more aggressive overall. Just the feel of the bike, the way that it handles stuff, um, definitely feels more like race oriented, race ready. So sort of pushes you to, to ride harder. Yeah, yeah, but not not to where you feel like you're out of control or anything, I don't think. Um, and with the different maps and the traction control, you can play around with those and, and feel pretty confident in, in what you're doing out there. So so you feel like maybe that's, you know, I, I was really interested, um, and I'm going to ride this later, but interested to see how that head height, um, the, the changes to the radiators, dropping that down, some of the things they did to make it feel lighter and more nimble, if that was noticeable on the track. Yeah, like a uh, couple of the jumps out here at Milestone, it's obviously a little bit of a tighter track, but a couple of the jumps, you know, coming in really, really fast to them and kind of being able to soak them up feels a uh, night and day difference on this bike to me. I just feel like you're fully in control. You're the one telling the bike what to do, and it's not overpowering you with weight or, you know, kind of shifting around on you, stuff like that. So, Okay, and what changes did you guys make? to suspension or, or uh, even mapping and things like that? Yeah, so as far as mapping goes, I ended up at the two, number two map with the traction control on. Uh, that worked best for me. It smoothed out the power, but still is, you know, it's plenty fast of a bike. This bike is one of the fastest bikes I've been so, on. So one is standard, two yeah. is an aggressive Gretter. setting. Yeah. So you like the aggressive setting with the traction control on. Yep, yep, made the power more manageable across the board. And then uh, I had, noticed that I was pushing through a couple of the ruts so I'd get to the middle of it and the forks would kind of push in and then pop out early so we added a little bit of air to the forks and we slowed the rebound down and after we did that it was money, money. yep okay. any changes to the back end uh, no we had the sag at 105 and everything felt you know really good it's so it's really does feel light I don't know how to portray that through the video but it, it's crazy <laughs> Well, it is, it is the lightest bike, 221. I mean, that's, uh, that's a benchmark all the brands should be shooting for. Obviously, there's the reliability issue versus weight savings, but these guys have figured out a way to do it. Um, anything else that stuck out with you on this bike? Um, yeah, just, it's, you know, it's fast. It's, you could race this thing tomorrow. No, nothing to undo it at all. I would be confident to go race. Um, on this bike no problem which is is saying a lot i mean how how many bikes do you jump on make a couple clicker adjustments and you're like okay yeah i could race this like yeah. this you know you always have to do suspension work or maybe gearing or whatever it's impressive to come and be just ready to go yeah yeah and i you know, obviously ktm's kind of uh motto has been that is ready to race and in my opinion they're they're right on track with that yeah I, i'm really just the finish of these between the ODI lock on grips, these are a really nice soft compound. The seat with these ribs, I mean, all of the little details, it's the things you would do to a bike to make it race ready. So, uh, looks like they've crushed it again. Bival, thanks for coming out, appreciate thanks it. For having me. Um, it looks beautiful. It's apparently works pretty dang well, according to Bryce. And um, they're in dealerships and ready to buy. Check out the factory edition models at your local KTM dealer. Uh, ready to go right now.